Okay, so this topic or this lecture is about salts and methods of preparation of salts. This is an essential question in your ATP exam of your O-levels and also your MCQ's and theoretical part. So yeah, we will see what is a salt, what is the definition of a salt and then we will focus on how can we prepare different salts, what are the different types of salts. So yeah, let's start with the first things. Definition, salt is an ionic compound, all right, this is important, all salts are ionic compounds and they are formed when one or more hydrogen of an acid is replaced by a metallic ion or, or an ammonium ion. What does it mean? Have a look over here. This is an acid. We all know that acids have H positive ions in their aqueous solutions, all right, that is the definition of acidity. So, when hydrogen of an acid when one or more hydrogens of an acid in this case we only have one hydrogen in our acid so if this hydrogen of an acid if it is replaced by a metal for example zinc in this case all right so ZnCl2 will form and place of hydrogen Zn is attached so this is a salt now when hydrogen of an acid is replaced by a metal or an ammonium ion metallic ion or an ammonium ion a salt is formed. Have a look over here. In this case, you have a sodium metal ion and it is replacing the chloride ion over here. We have HCl acid and hydrogen is being replaced by sodium ion and sodium is being attached with chloride ion. So, which means that hydrogen is replaced from an acid and sodium ion is attached or ammonium ion can also replace hydrogen of HCl and form ammonium chloride. So initially there was hydrogen with chloride ion but due to formation of salt hydrogen is replaced by an ammonium ion and ammonium chloride is formed. So ammonium chloride is now a salt and sodium chloride over here is a salt. It is formed when hydrogen of an acid is replaced by sodium ion. And ammonium chloride, this salt is formed when hydrogen of HCl is replaced by ammonium ion. So that is essentially the definition of acid. That when one or more hydrogens of an acid is replaced by a metallic ion or an ammonium ion. We have different types of is, uh, salts with us. We uh, have zinc sulfate, we, we have uh, and we have copper sulfate and we have co cobalt sulfate, different types of salts, chlorides. Also, in this case, we saw sodium chloride, we saw ammonium chloride. So, there are several salts that we see in our daily lives. Here is a little table of how salts are made or what type of salt will be formed by what type of an acid. For example, if you have sulfuric acid, hydrogens of sulfuric acid, two hydrogens of sulfuric acid, they will be replaced by sodium ions and sodium sulfate will be formed all right and hcl will one hydrogen will be replaced in sulfuric acid more than one two hydrogens will be replaced to form a salt so sodium sulfate is a salt formed when sodium replaces hydrogens of sulfuric acid similarly when sodium replaces hydrogens of hydrochloric acid sodium chloride is formed and when sodium replaces hydrogens of carbonic acid, then sodium carbonate is formed. And similarly, when sodium replaces hydrogens of nitric acid, then sodium nitrate is formed. So this, these are all salts and these are all formed by replacement of hydrogen by a metal ion. Similarly, when magnesium replaces hydrogens of sulfuric acid, magnesium sulfate is formed. And magnesium chloride is formed when magnesium replaces hydrogens of HCl or hydrochloric acid. So these are all the examples of salts formed when hydrogen of an acid is replaced by a metal ion or an ammonium ion. In this table, we only have metal ions, but I have shown you an example that ammonium ions over here can also replace hydrogens of an acid to form salts. All right. So we have different types of salts. If we classify them based on their solubility, then some salts are soluble and some salts are insoluble. And this essentially depends what type of method will we use in preparation of a salt in our lab. All right. So the first thing that we need to ask 
while we want to prepare a salt is that about is it is it about solubility of a salt is the salt soluble or is the salt insoluble if the salt is insoluble then we have a method called ionic precipitation so we'll soon see this in detail and if the salt is soluble then we have these three different methods of preparing that salt we know that a salt is formed when metal reacts with acid it forms salt and hydrogen gas we know a salt is formed when metal oxide reacts with acid from salt and water and we know that uh, same is the case with metal hydroxide as well metal oxide or metal hydroxide they react with acids to form salt and water we know that and a metal carbonate is reacts with acids to form salt water and carbon dioxide gas is released so these are the different methods of salt preparation but before that we need to know we need to be able to identify that either the salt that we want to make is it a soluble salt or is it an insoluble salt oops yes so this is the table that you need to memorize or that you need to know for the method for the solubility of salts and it is not very difficult to remember uh, i'll soon let you know how can you easily memorize this so the first thing all sodium potassium and ammonium salts they're all soluble in water if it can be sodium chloride it can be uh, potassium chloride it can be potassium sulfate or it can be ammonium nitrate any ammonium sodium or potassium salt these are all soluble in water at room temperature and pressure and there is no exception in it no sodium salt is insoluble no potassium salt is insoluble and no ammonium salt is insoluble all right similarly all nitrates are soluble in water magnesium nitrate calcium nitrate potassium nitrate lead nitrate barium nitrate all nitrates are soluble in water there is no exception to this whereas most chlorides are soluble in water all right but there are, there are a few exceptions in this for example silver chloride it is insoluble lead chloride is also insoluble whereas it is soluble in hot, hot water and mercury chloride it is also insoluble in water so these three chlorides are insoluble whereas most other chlorides are soluble in water similarly most sulfates are soluble in water but these three sulfates are insoluble in water calcium sulfate barium sulfate and lead sulfate these three sulfates do not dissolve in water and most carbonates are insoluble in water most carbonates they do not dissolve in water whereas because we discussed that all nitrates are soluble in water and uh, so sodium uh, we discussed that all sodium potassium and ammonium salts are soluble in water so sodium carbonate is also soluble potassium carbonate is also soluble and ammonium carbonate is also soluble in water so all all other carbonates are insoluble in water except these three carbonates carbonates of sodium potassium and ammonium salts these are uh, carbonates of sodium potassium and ammonium these are soluble in water whereas all other carbonates are insoluble in water now based on this solubility we have different methods of preparation of salts which we'll see in the next lecture